Hi, my name is Tiago Passos and today I'm going to show you how to create a real-time application with Angular, SignalR, and .NET Core. So let's get started. Okay, so that's an, uh, a sample application that I created uh, a long time ago, I just improved now. Um, and it came out of an idea that I had on uh, Angular Hack Day. Okay, so basically what I have here, uh, it's a drinking game. So one person is going to start a group and other people will join and you can see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to put my email here and I'm going to call it test the group. Okay, so I've got a group now and I've got a pint of beer. Okay, so I'm gonna join this group here as Adam Gogan. Okay, and it's the same name, test. And you see that straight away the glass um, showed up here on the left hand side. Um, I do not have the button to start here because this session here is the owner of that group. Okay, and only the owner can start the game. Okay, so let's go now to, let's say, Brandon Richards at ssw.com.au, same group test, and say Jason Taylor at ssw.com.au, and group test. Cool. So now we have the four participants, and usually you would use that in a phone, okay? Um, so I, as soon as I press start, instead of the start button, it's gonna show a drink button, okay? So when I do that, I'll have the drink button in all the screens, and now I can start pr pressing the drink button. And as I press drink, you can see that all the, uh, my glass in all the screens, are getting empty okay so the idea of the game is who is gonna tap um, the quickest to win the game okay so it's just a silly game just to test the the way signal signal works so if I finish that up okay so now you can see the, the drink is over and the winner is Adam Kogan. And it shows that in all the screens and now you can't um, press the, the drink button anymore. Okay, so that's just a sample application and I'm gonna show you how to add up all the bits and pieces that you need to know to achieve that. Okay, so let's have a look. So first I'm gonna um, kick off the commander. I love commander, um, if you're not using just give it a go and I'm gonna do uh, the .NET new Angular which is using the SPA template which is very very nice it gives you a very nice FI, FI experience and it's got everything wired up already .NET Core and Angular okay so I'm gonna press enter Okay, now I've got my application and all I need to do is npm install and I've got my application ready to go. Okay, done. So now I can, here just to give it a try, I can go and .NET run and you see a brand new Angular and .NET Core application. Okay, so that's running now. I can go now and go localhost 5000 and should bring up a new .NET Core with this part template with the minimum that you need to get started, right? So that's bringing down from the server, that's um, handling event and binding the data here Right, so that's a, a, a pretty good start, okay? But I'm, I'm now gonna change this application so I can um, get SignalR um, to it. Okay, I'm gonna stop that now. And I'm gonna open it with Visual Studio Code. 
Okay, so a few things that I need to do here. First, the signal app for .NET Core application is is not released yet, so it's still in preview. Um, so we need to point to uh, an unofficial, not an unofficial, but a, a dev um, NuGet package server. Okay, so let's get this going. All right, so I'm not gonna have this right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create two files here. One is the npm. That's for the client side. Okay. Um, and what I'm gonna use here is this line. Okay, I'm gonna share all this in the video, but it's pretty much a registry for the npm package. Okay, that's the official .NET Core uh, registry uh, for the dev uh, team. Okay, so I save that. And the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to create another file. And this file is going to be called NuGet config. Okay, so I've got now the my NuGet source and also my new NPM source. Okay, so what I need to do now is install the package. All right, so I'm going to get the terminal. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is npm install and I'm going to bring this package here. Okay. Now it's going to install. Alright, so now I can see that in my package.json the ASP.NET signal arm is was added here and that's the version that was added. Just keep in mind that when you store that it needs to match with the server side uh, package as well. Alright? Okay, so next thing is going to be .NET new not .NET new .NET add package um, and the name of the package is going to be is net core no so let's see how it goes it's probably going to complain about the version All right, so it's just complaining about the version what I need to do here is set the version and the version I'm going to get is this version here okay and now it should work. All right. So you add it in. And now it should be good to go. Okay, so let's let's try some some things here. Okay. Um, first I'm gonna do I'm going to create a herbs folder. Alright. And in this herbs folder, I'm going to create a echo herb.cs. Okay, so what I want to do here is a public class called echo herb, and it's coming from herb. Okay. gonna save that I probably should do a uh, .NET restore here if it doesn't complain all right cool so the hub is um, created but what I want to do is just a simple echo function okay so what I'm gonna do is public void echo and it's gonna receive a message right and once I do that I can go to clients all and I can send something and the name of the math the method is going to be send it's pretty much anything you want to, to put here 
Okay. So that's how it's going to work. Um, this send here is going to be configured in the client. And when I send this method, when I call this met method send, um, this client side um, event is going to trigger and it's going to send this parameter across and then you can do whatever you want in the client side. Okay? So that's a very simple example. And now I have to wire up this hub to work with my .NET Core application. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my startup here. And first I'm gonna add the signal. All right. And the second thing is going to be app and use signal. All right. And what I'm going to do here is map hub. The hub I'm going to map is going to be the echo hub. And that's going to be mapped to this URL here. Okay. All right. So now that's all wide up. The next thing is in the client side. So now in the client, I need to call this, um, this um, web socket using SignalR to do this long polling and then opening the port so the server can send message across to the client. Okay? Alright, so now let's go to our client application. I'm just going to use the home component Right, so I, I want to be very simple. I'm gonna clear that up here, and what I want, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an input of type text, and the name of this input is going to be message, and I'm going to bind that to a variable called message. All right, very simple, and I'm going to have a button also to echo and that's gonna call can you guess echo all right so now i've got a, a paragraph here and what i want to do is i'm going to go through all the message in my message um, array and i'm gonna print them just in here all right Simple? Cool. Alright, so what I need to do now in the component is first I need a message type string. Well, right now it doesn't have anything. A message of type string array, which doesn't have anything at this moment. Okay. And I also need a method that I'm going to do something later. Okay, uh, what I want to do here is I'm going to call this on in it so I can configure my my hub. Okay. NG on it. Cool. Alright, so that's a very basic component. And now I have to start to wire up the hub itself. Okay, so let's get this imported and I'm going to import that from ASP.NET signal alright and the, no the name of the component I'm going to get is hub connection too easy? ok so now I'm going to create a, vari a variable here called hub connection of type hub connection and in here, what I'm going to do is this hub connection equals new hub connection. And it's going to map to echo, which is the URL that I set, that I configured in my startup. Okay, so this one in here. Alright, so that's configured. The next thing I want to do is this hub connection um, on. Send, which is this here, 
all right? On send, I want it to do something. And what I want it to do is gonna, it's gonna bring that um, parameter across, and all I want you to do is add that to my array. Okay? So anything that comes from the server, I'm going to push into my array here. Sounds simple? Cool. It is simple. All right, so the next thing I want to do is um, I want to um, bind that echo method message, echo method, to the event in my hub connection. And how do I do that? I'm going to get the connection, hub connection, and invoke what method? The echo method. Right. That's the echo method. And what I'm going to send is the message. Too easy? All right. So there is only one bit missing. I still have to connect. All right. I configure my hub. I configure that when there is a send event, I'm going to run that and I can invoke the echo. But it still didn't connect. So the last bit here is the hub connection start okay so I can I can try stuff like then to push something like console.log connection started okay otherwise catch error simple just gonna push that into the next line all right so I'm gonna start if everything goes well I'm gonna see this connection started in the console if it didn't go so well then I'll get the error message in my console okay so that's pretty much it so there is nothing more to it so let's have a look so I'm gonna save that and I'm going to go here and then run Okay, I've got a bunch of um, instances open here, and I want to open all of them in the same URL. Okay, so I've got a bunch of instances here uh, showing the same thing with a uh, text box and an echo button. All right, so just to um, check in my console here I've got a message saying connection started okay so it's all good if I do send the message I should get across all instances all right so hello world and there you go so it's sending across all the instances and I can come from anywhere hello there and it's gonna go everywhere Cool. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you do want to know more about this drinking game, um, the the whole source code is available on GitHub. It's on my GitHub, and it's just in here, All right? So the whole drinking game is not as um, not as complicated a a as it looks. It's just a bunch of uh, methods in the hub saying drink, start, and things like that. Um, but it's, it's quite simple. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.